You've probably seen the amazing photos of Havana and are now planning a trip there? To ensure you don't miss out, we'll show you in this video the top 10 must-do things in Havana. Welcome to Havana, a city where time seems to have stopped, yet life throbs with an unquenchable vitality. This Cuban capital is a living, breathing museum, brimming with heritage and culture, where every cobblestone whispers tales of a bygone era. Havana's vibrant lifestyle, a harmonious blend of the old and the new, is a testament to its resilience and spirit. The city's historical significance is not merely confined to textbooks, it's etched in its architecture, its people, and its diverse attractions. From the pulsating rhythm of salsa that fills the air, to the aroma of freshly rolled cigars, and the sight of classic cars cruising down the boulevards, Havana is a sensory delight. Over the next few minutes, we'll journey through this dynamic city, exploring its hidden gems and well-known landmarks. Let's get ready to uncover the top 10 must-visit spots in Havana. Starting our countdown at number 10, we have Plaza de la Revolución. This colossal square holds a wealth of historical significance, etched into every stone and echoing from every corner. It's a testament to the Cuban spirit, a tribute to their resilience and their determination to shape their own destiny. At the heart of the plaza stands the iconic Jose Marti Memorial. This towering structure pays homage to the national hero, a symbol of the Cuban fight for independence. The memorial is a beacon of patriotism, its soaring height a reflection of the lofty ideals and aspirations of the Cuban people. The plaza has been a witness to momentous events, a stage for speeches that have reverberated around the world, and a gathering spot for millions over the years. It's not just a place, it's a living, breathing chapter of Cuban history, a story told in stone and steel. Witnessing the grandeur of Plaza de la Revolución is indeed a must. At number 9 we recommend a leisurely stroll along El Malecón. A captivating 8-kilometer sea drive, El Malecón, is the embodiment of Havana's soul. Its beauty lies in its simplicity, a road, a seawall, and the vast Atlantic Ocean stretching out before you. As you saunter along you'll feel the sea breeze on your skin, smell the salt in the air, and hear the rhythmic crashing of waves against the wall. El Malecón is more than just a seaside promenade. It's a social hub where friends meet, musicians play, and lovers steal kisses under the moonlight. When the sun dips below the horizon, El Malecón transforms into a pulsating nightlife spot. Salsa rhythms fill the air, and the sea drive becomes a dance floor under the stars. Street vendors selling delicious Cuban snacks add to the lively ambiance. Experiencing the heartbeat of Havana at El Malecón is truly unmissable. Number 8 on our list is the Museum of the Revolution. Housed in a grandiose former presidential palace, this museum is a treasure trove of Cuba's revolutionary past. Here, you will find a vast collection of artifacts, photographs, and documents that narrate the story of Cuba's fight for independence and the subsequent revolution led by Fidel Castro. The museum is divided into several sections, each dedicated to a different era of Cuba's history. From the early struggles against Spanish colonial rule to the triumph of the socialist revolution, every corner of this museum echoes with the spirit of resilience and rebellion. Noteworthy exhibits include the Grandma Memorial, a glass enclosure preserving the yacht that carried Fidel Castro and his revolutionaries from Mexico to Cuba in 1956. A visit to this museum is like stepping into a time capsule. It's an intriguing journey through the ups and downs of Cuba's past. A visit to the Museum of the Revolution offers a deep dive into Cuba's past. Coming in at number 7 is the exploration of Old Havana. A vibrant patchwork of pastel hues and Baroque influences, Old Havana is a living testament to the city's rich history. As you meander through the narrow cobblestone streets, you'll encounter a kaleidoscope of architectural marvels, each boasting their own unique character and charm. From the grandeur of the Cathedral de San Cristobal to the rustic allure of Plaza Vieja, the cityscape is a visual symphony of centuries-old edifices. But Old Havana is not just about the grand structures. It's also about the bustling local markets where you can find everything from handcrafted souvenirs to exotic fruits and aromatic spices. Here, the air is filled with the melodious chatter of vendors, the rich aroma of Cuban coffee, and the rhythmic beats of street musicians echoing through the alleyways. Exploring Old Havana indeed takes you back in time, offering a glimpse of the city's soul that's as vibrant and dynamic as its colorful facade. At number 6 we suggest you to enjoy the world-famous Cuban cigars. 
a symbol of status and luxury, these hand-rolled beauties are an integral part of Cuban culture and tradition. Stemming from an age-old practice, Cuban cigars are renowned for their superior quality and unique flavors, a testament to the rich soil and favorable climate of the region. Cigar production in Cuba is a painstaking process, performed with meticulous attention to detail. To truly appreciate the craft, a visit to a cigar factory is highly recommended. Here you'll witness firsthand the intricate process of transforming tobacco leaves into exquisite cigars, a craft passed down through generations. From selecting the finest leaves to the art of rolling, each step is a testament to the dedication and skill of the Cuban people. So, when in Havana, find a quiet corner, light up a Cuban cigar, and let the distinct aroma take you on a sensory journey through the heart of Cuba. A trip to Havana is incomplete without savoring a Cuban cigar. Halfway through our list, at number 5, we have Hemingway's Havana. This is a journey not just through the streets of this vibrant city, but also through the pages of some of the world's most beloved literature. The illustrious writer Ernest Hemingway resided in Havana for more than two decades, leaving an indelible imprint on its culture and geography. La Bodeguita del Medio and El Floridita, two of Hemingway's favorite watering holes, have become iconic establishments, known for their mojitos and daiquiris respectively. His love for the sea is encapsulated in the small fishing village of Kojimar, the inspiration for his Pulitzer Prize-winning novel, The Old Man and the Sea. And who could forget Finca Vigia? Hemingway's home turned museum, it houses his personal library, manuscripts, and the typewriter where he penned his masterpieces. Following Hemingway's footsteps in Havana is like walking through a literary treasure trove. Number four on our list is to savor the delectable Cuban cuisine. Cuban food is as diverse as its culture, blending African, Spanish, and Caribbean influences into a smorgasbord of flavors. Start your culinary journey with Ropa Vieja, a shredded beef stew simmered in a rich tomato sauce. Or perhaps try Arroz con Pollo, a hearty chicken and rice dish that'll make your taste buds dance. Don't forget about Moros y Cristianos, a classic side dish of black beans and rice that's as common as bread and butter. For dessert, indulge in Flan Cubano, a Cuban-style caramel custard that's delightfully sweet. For the best dining experience, head to La Guarida, a famous paladar in Havana, known for its innovative fusion of Cuban and international flavors. Or try El Cocinero, a trendy spot offering modern Cuban cuisine in an old peanut oil factory. A culinary adventure in Havana promises to be a feast for the senses. Coming in at number three, we recommend a visit to El Capitolio. Known as the National Capitol Building, this architectural marvel stands as a testament to Havana's rich history. Built in the early 20th century, El Capitolio takes inspiration from the Roman Pantheon and the United States Capitol, resulting in a stunning neoclassical design that is truly a sight to behold. As you approach the building, your eyes will be drawn to the towering dome, which, at over 90 meters high, dominates Havana's skyline. Inside, the grandeur continues with marble floors, intricate frescoes, and a stunning statue named La Repubblica, which remains one of the largest indoor statues in the world. El Capitolio is more than just an architectural masterpiece. It's a symbol of Havana's political and cultural heritage. Having served as the seat of government and now home to the Cuban Academy of Sciences, it's a place where the past meets the present. A visit to El Capitolio leaves you in awe of its architectural splendor. At number two, we suggest you to enjoy Havana's vibrant nightlife. This city truly comes alive as the sun sets, where the rhythm of salsa music fills the air and the spirit of celebration is palpable. Havana boasts an array of nightclubs that offer a unique blend of the past and the present, from the retro charm of the 1950s to the contemporary beats of today. Don't miss out on the thriving live music scene that's quintessential to Havana's nightlife. From the sultry sounds of jazz to the irresistible beats of reggaeton, there's something for every music lover. And of course, no night in Havana would be complete without a visit to one of its many dance venues. Whether you're a seasoned salsa dancer or a beginner looking to learn, the energy and passion of Havana's dance scene is sure to captivate you. Experiencing Havana's nightlife is like stepping into a pulsating world of music, dance, and joy. And finally, at number one, we have the iconic ride in a classic car. There's something about cruising the sun-drenched streets of Havana in a gleaming vintage car that's truly magical. These classic cars, or Yank Tanks as they're affectionately known, are a testament to Cuba's resourcefulness and resilience. 
The charm of these timeless beauties lies not just in their glossy exteriors, but also in the stories they hold. They've witnessed the city's transformations and have been a part of Havana's character for decades. The city tours available in these vintage cars are a journey back in time, offering a unique way to explore the city's vibrant history and stunning architecture. Whether it's a sleek 1950s Cadillac or a vibrant Chevy, these classic cars offer a ride like no other. You'll feel the gentle Caribbean breeze on your face, hear the rhythmic salsa music in the distance, and experience the city from a perspective that's as unique as Havana itself. A ride in a classic car is the ultimate Havana experience. So there you have it, the top 10 must-do things in Havana. We started our journey at Plaza de la Revolución, soaking up the city's history and culture. We then strolled along El Malecón, witnessing the city's vibrant life and picturesque sunset. A visit to the Museum of the Revolution took us back in time, reminding us of Cuba's tumultuous past. We journeyed through the charming streets of Old Havana, immersing ourselves in its rich heritage. We savored the taste of authentic Cuban cigars and felt the spirit of Hemingway's Havana. We indulged in delectable Cuban cuisine, visited the Grand El Capitolio, and experienced the city's electrifying nightlife. And who could forget the thrilling ride in a classic car, a true symbol of Havana's timeless appeal. Each of these experiences, unique and unforgettable, paints a vibrant picture of Havana. Remember, Havana is a city that never fails to charm its visitors. So, when are you planning your trip to this vibrant city?